Hey, how's it going today? We are here at the Tablelands Trail in Grossmore National Park in Newfoundland, and this is my channel's 100th trail. Woo! Crazy to think that a year ago I started hiking, uh, you know, all over Ontario, New Brunswick, and now here in the beautiful province of Newfoundland and Labrador, and getting to this point with my girlfriend has been so amazing. Hard to believe that this is my 100th trail. Uh, and what a great place to do it. The Tablelands, uh, which is a really unique geological area here in Newfoundland. Uh, nothing can grow on it because uh, all the stone and rock here have uh, different elements like iron uh, that don't let things grow. So let's head on down the trail. It's only two kilometers in and two kilometers back. A nice easy trail, but an amazing landscape. So let's go off and uh, check out the Tablelands Trail here at Grossmore National Park. Check out the Earth's Mantle. Yes, the Earth's Mantle. Let's do it. Let's go. All right, so this is what we're talking about here, these alien rocks. It's a piece of rusty rock. You can feel how heavy it is. Uh, this is an igneous rock called peridotite, dense with iron, magnesium, nickel, cobalt, and chromium. This rock is poisonous to many plants, is dark green when freshly broken, but quickly turns rusty brown and crumbles on exposure to air and water. And the Tablelands rocks formed in the Earth's upper mantle beneath an ancient ocean. So the Earth's mantle is way, way, way down in the ground, way below the... Uh, soil and everything way way down and due to plate tectonics way back when the supercontinent Pangaea was uh, breaking up everything was thrust up uh, and exposed to the atmosphere so that's why you get this uh, rusty color because uh, all the metals in the rocks oxidize let's go hike the tablelands something really really crazy on this side over here you see so much plant growth so many trees lots of different bushes and shrubs and then you just go over on the other side and there's not much of anything it's a very interesting uh, way to look at the landscape all right so we're coming up to a couple of benches here already we're not that far in but you know, as I say, if there's a bench, there's usually a good view. It certainly is here today. Wow, look at this. This is crazy. Wow. We just got here and the views are already incredible. Look around us here. They certainly are. It's just, I can't even put it into words. I'm just stunned by the beauty of the landscape. Certainly something uh, you don't see every day. We're not even five minutes into the hike yet, and we've been here for probably about 15, just taking it all in. Yeah. <laughs> 
It's wow, I just just beautiful. Like I don't think the camera can do it justice. Being here in person uh, makes everything seem so big. Like I feel so small right now. You know what I mean? It truly does. Yeah, absolutely. I feel the exact same way. Yeah. All right, so we're getting into more of the rocky area now. You can really see how the color of the rocks are starting to change from what we saw at the beginning of the trail. Okay, so we've come up to this sign here. Um, so if you wish to do a shorter little trail, uh, you can do the Serpentine Loop, which just goes off this way. And uh, as you can see, there's some more of that uh, rock out that way that you can explore as well. But I think we're going to continue on towards the Tablelands uh, main trail here, off this way. What a way to celebrate 100 trails, eh? Wow. Let's keep going. Well, there's this information sign over here that talks about the rocks of the Tablelands. All right, so the Tablelands is part of a larger group of rocks called the Bay of Islands Ophelite. An ophelite is a section of the Earth's oceanic crust and upper mantle that has been uplifted and exposed on land. These rocks are found in many mountain chains, but they are rarely so accessible, visible, and unaltered. So on this uh, sign here, there's a really, really good example of what the Earth's mantle is and how far up it was pushed to the surface. So here we have the Earth's core. This green area here is the Earth's mantle. And this is the crust which we are walking on. So you can just see how much it was pushed up and out. Really, really cool. So right here are some perfect prime examples of rocks that are part of the Earth's mantle. So that one's uh, a really good example right there of how the color is supposed to look and then on the other side of it, what it looks like when it's been exposed to the atmosphere and air and everything for so long. This is really, really cool, really fascinating. Like I know we've said this a lot, but everywhere you turn, there is just another stunning, spectacular view. Like just between the valley there, you can see beyond and see those mountains there with the clouds and the sun all over it. It's just spectacular, amazing. Everything out here is so beautiful. So you'll see on this trail, on many trails in Parks Canada, um, they have lots of different information signs, like this one here. The worst soil on Earth. So yeah, it's talking about not a lot of plant life being able to grow on uh, this rock, right? So for a plant living here, it's like growing in a polluted junkyard. Serpentine soil is full of toxic metals, and it contains almost no nutrients such as nitrogen, phosphorus, or potassium, and very little calcium. In most of the Tablelands area, no real soil has built up in the last major glaciation that ended about 10,000 years ago. Even worse, winds are so strong, uh, they prune trees, and ice crystals churn plant roots out of the soil each spring and fall. So, not a lot can grow up there. So Katie just pointed out over there that the sun's coming out a lot more. So maybe we'll get some more sun over where we are in a bit here. 
that's the one thing about Newfoundland. The weather changes on a dime. Like it's it's insane. Like even like over here, you can see that the clouds are coming over the top of the mountains, and then over to the left, it's all sunny. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful weather. Beautiful day out here. It even rained a little bit on our way here, but it stopped raining now. So. Like, this is just crazy. Like, <laughs> what a view. Absolutely amazing. I, I can't get over it. It's, uh, I'm, I'm at a loss for words. It's just so cool. Let's keep going. Right, we're coming up to a bridge here now. This is really interesting. So you can see way, way up there where all this water is coming from. Little tiny stream making its way down. Okay, so we are going to the right. You can kind of see that the trail is going to curve off to the right and off towards that mountain there. I wonder what's up there. Like, this is crazy, man. Like, what the heck? <laughs> One of the most unique landscapes I've ever witnessed. Look at this! Right? <gasps> so crazy. Ooh, it's amazing. It really is. The signs coming through the clouds up top there. Amazing. Really brings out the colors. It really does. Still got a little ways to go.
right, we've got another sign here. During the last 2.6 million years, repeated glaciations shaped the landscape around you, all, erasing all traces of plants, animals, and soil that existed before, deepening the tablelands, valleys, and steeping its flanks. The U-shaped valley of Trout River Gulch to the right was carved by a glacier that excavated Bond Bay. Cliffs cut by the moving ice are still slumping to a more stable angle. I guess we have to go off this way. What an amazing view this is, eh? My goodness. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> oh, my gosh. That's incredible. That is a view right there. Wow. There's a nice little boardwalk down there. Perfect. All right, so we are reaching the boardwalk, which I believe means we're getting to the end of this trail. Made it to the boardwalk, babe. We made it. Final or, stretch. Final stretch. Oh man, the clouds are coming through the mountains. Oh, it's beautiful. Wow. Well, this will make things a little easier for the end of the trail.
Oh, there's a little river going by too. This is pretty. Wow, we've reached the end. My goodness. This is quite the view. <laughs> so this is called Winter House Brook Canyon. So it says here that if you want to, and you're feeling adventurous, you can go off the boardwalk and continue on. But I think for today, we're just going to head on back because we're losing the sign a little bit here. But if you feel like it, when you come here, you can go farther. I've officially walked a hundred trails. What the heck? This is crazy. Look at this. What a way to do 100 trails. Like. Beautiful. <laughs> how do you feel? I feel great. Oh my god. I can't even put it into words how amazing this whole journey to getting to 100 trails has been. And I'm glad that you're here with me as well. Thank you. Uh, to experience it. Um, Newfoundland and Labrador, Canada, the tablelands here in Grossmore National Park. So beautiful, so amazing. The sun's going down, so we're going to lose some daylight here, but. I mean, it's just beautiful. The sun is on the clouds, making them all pink and purple. What an accomplishment. Thank you very much. I'm so proud of you. We're all so proud of you, everyone who's been following along. Yes, I want to thank everybody uh, who's subscribed and followed along since day one and uh, who's going to continue to follow along. If you want to see more videos just like this, because uh, we're still not done here in Newfoundland, uh, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment of uh, different places you'd like to see us try. Uh, while we're here in Gross Morn, uh, or even across Canada that we should try in the future. Um, please like and subscribe. Thank you very much. Gross Morn Tablelands. <laughs>